Hey the folks, Marsha PC will bash again. This time I'm under my pop up camper. This is for the people on my regular page and people hopefully they'll tune in when I post it on some pop up camper maintenance. Well, I bought the camper about a year ago and I got some big camping trips coming up. Got one to Thermont in a couple weeks. Then I got one to Virginia State Cowboy Match at Labor Day weekend. And then I have another. Well, I got one this end of this week coming up. For a few days, that's just a camping trip, and then West Virginia, I think, will round up the year. So I got a bunch of trips coming up, but it's been a year since I did the cables, or not so much a year. I did the pulleys, but the cables have been a while. Roof of a tree is definitely a year because that's what's in my maintenance. So we're going to take this little tree off. I got a... Wipe all this older stuff off of this cable. That's the cable to the right rear right there. No, left rear. Then we're going to wipe this one off. This one goes to the right rear. Just what I 
I need to get this wood tree cover off and out so I can clean it. Right. Yes, sir. It is out. Bring y'all over here for a quick minute. I got the woofer tree sitting on my leg. Now, as you can see, where did the bracket rise? We got to degrease that. So I got some simple green. So when we do that, I'll take it around. But right now, we are doing the wood tree. This will be last, and we'll put it back up. So let's see if I got you back where you need to be. I got a lay bracket in the way. <clears throat> Yes, whistle tree right there in front of us. We are good. Crawl back down here. And I didn't see this last year when I was making it. But this cable has about six inches. Because it's such a big trailer on the outside. So now we have wiped the grease off the cables. Wipe the grease off older grease. Off of the inside here. It's a little dirty. So you got the people got to get up underneath your campers or you can pay somebody to do it. And get the old grease off. Right now it's in a lower position. So we got that. We got that. So we are gonna put on some red grease. Like I said, don't go past here because you don't want to get into the clutch assembly. Now what you're going to do is just grease this puppy up with a nice coat. And try not to cut your fingers off on the rim of the daggone container. Because it ain't no joke. Yeah, it's a nice coat right there. And this helps prevent rust and all the nastiness that comes along with rust. Which is weakened screws. Screw looks in nice shape, really good shape. And we want to keep it that way. Alright. So. Now we're going to grease the bottom of the bracket here. Because that what ride, that is what rides on the whiffle tree cover. Because if it didn't have the cover, this whole thing would turn, dig into your floor here, and it would just make more problems. Getting the cables on this side. There's about two inches of cable for each lift arm here. And we're going to work from the inside out. So, I'm laying on my porch mat, which is great for working outside. It's because it has a nice tight weave. So hopefully no other than maybe an ant or two. But hopefully it keeps the majority of ticks off. I'm laying outside in my yard. I don't have a garage. Now we're going to put a nice coat on these cables. Dirt. Well, if you 
underneath here looking at the cable like I am right now, you would see that over the course of the year, I guess, road, grime, and weather, and all that other stuff, there's hardly a lick of grease on these cables. And I did this last, like I said, I did this last year. You know? So, you know, you got to drive down the road and in the weather. I guess underneath your pop-ups kind of get the power wash when you do that. I guess for better, lack of a better term. And there's a little piece of cable right there. So we are good. Now, I'll move this microphone someplace. Don't know where. I have to leave it here, I guess. Holy guacamole sticks. See the plumbing underneath here, and the gas. Fine, I'm going to the side stove is what there is. Maybe a little hot water heater action too. Could hot water heater on that floor. Alright, where's the other one? Right there. Cable right there. So, thank you.
texture of it. And then spray some. Now what I'm going to do is just spray some dry silicone glue on this pulley right there. And up in this hole right there for that. And then as we work our way back down the other end, we'll Take care of it. In the meantime, I've got to do this cable over Alright, that should take care of all the pulleys and all the cables are now freshly greased. The lift tree is greased. So, what we're going to do is come back out from under the trailer because i got to get out from under here anyway. And we're going to clean the cover of the lift tree. And grease it up. In the meantime, I gotta change the battery. Alright, so I'll be back with y'all in a second. Later.